Sparkles Clubhouse. Won't you come on in? Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse. Let the fun begin. The fire safety dogs are here today. They practice their fire safety in every way. Welcome to Sparkles Clubhouse. Won't you come on in? Won't you come on in? Live from Sparkles Clubhouse. August the 2nd, 2013, and today is a very special day. It is the 100th episode of Sparkle's Safety Spot. 100 boys and girls, that's a lot, isn't it? We are so glad that you and all the grown-ups are out there today. We know there are people watching from all over the world today, and we're very, very happy that you are here. Now, our co-host today is Molly, the fire safety dog. Are you Molly, the fire safety dog? No. <laughs> this is Finn, and I'm going to introduce Finn to you here in just a moment. And Molly and, but, and Tango will be in the clubhouse a little bit later. Now, we have some very, very special guests in the clubhouse today. We love live studio audiences. That is our favorite thing. So, we would like to welcome, first of all, Finnegus Sage. Finnegus is a man-trailing bloodhound, and we're excited you're here, Finn. This is Finn's second time, boys and girls, to be in the clubhouse. And this is Sue. Now, we have two other very special guests. We have, hello Finn, I love you. We have the mayor of Clarksville, Billy Helms, is here in the clubhouse, along with Councilwoman Dana Schneider, and we're going to be meeting them a little bit later. They're going to be sharing their favorite fire safety tips with you boys and girls. So welcome to everybody that's here. Thank you so much. We're going to have a lot of fun. Well, today what we're going to do is a little little different than what we normally do during our broadcast, but we are going to read some mail that we have received, show a few videos, and then we have some safety videos. We even have a safety video from an Olympian and a top chef and, and some wonderful, wonderful friends of ours. So we're excited. So let's go ahead and get started reading some of that mail just really quick. This is from Kathy, and Kathy says, I cannot find the right words to tell you how much I admire you and your gift to others and your entire organization. It has been my pleasure to be joining you for about three years. Congratulations on your 100th episode. Keep up the good work. I love you. Thank you so much, Kathy. Now, Kathy is from New York City, and she has watched almost 60 of these episodes of Sparkle Safety Spot, and I know you're watching Kathy today, so thank you for your nice letter. One more real quick. Happy 100th episode from Duchess and Opal and, um, and Amber, Jennifer, and Victoria, too. Now, Amber is, or I'm sorry, Opal is Molly's sister. So we're going to be seeing them a little bit later. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, Sparkle Safety Spot was started in honor of Sparkles, the fire safety dog. Sparkles was uh, rescued from a home with 62 other dogs and went on to help save the lives of seven children and two adults. So this program is dedicated to her as well as Sparkles Clubhouse. And speaking of Sparkles Clubhouse, this is Sparkles Clubhouse here right behind me. That's where we are right now, boys and girls. Our clubhouse was built in May of 2011, thanks to the good folks at First Alert. And I have to tell you a story. Whenever Sparkles passed away, the foundation had $10 in the bank. And First Alert came along and built this clubhouse because they knew that we were doing something really special and that we could help save lives together. So thank you so much to First Alert for rescuing us and for helping us reach all the children that we have reached over the years. Thank you so much. Now we have, like I said, a few messages from our good friends. So this first one 
is from Nick Bellavia, and Nick is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at First Alert. So, let's go ahead and make sure I have this turned up. Oh, I do. Let's go ahead and hear Nick's message. Hello, Dana. I wanted to congratulate you on your 100th episode. What you're doing is tremendous in educating those on fire safety in the various communities, and we're very proud to be a part of it. Thank you again. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate that so very much. There's Nick in his office, and if you look real close, you can see that he has a Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation. He has a fire safety dog's helmet right there in his office. Now, this is from Deb Hansen, who's the Director of Public Relations at First Alert. She also sent us a video. Hey, Dana, congratulations, 100th episode. That's incredible. I'm wearing polka dots today to honor you and the safety dogs. Everybody at First Alert is so proud of you. You've accomplished so much. You teach fire safety every day. You're saving lives, and we're so honored to be a part of your program. Good luck today. So thank you, Deb, for sending that video. We love you, and we love everybody at First Alert. Thanks, little guests. Thanks so much. All right, now to the fun stuff. We have with us Finnegas Sage, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, and Finnegas' human, Sue. And thank you, and welcome back to the clubhouse, Sue. Well, thank you for having us. We welcome, had so ben. much fun last time, we had to come back. Well, that is awesome. Well, you were here in July, I believe, of 2011, and we have a little bit, we have a clip from that episode. So this was one of the very first live streams that we did in the clubhouse. Here we go. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to the eighth episode of Sparkle Safety Spot. I'm your host, Dana Hilton, and I am streaming live from Sparkles Clubhouse and we are so excited that you are here. We have a very, very, very special guest in the house. We have Finnegas Sage, who is a law enforcement dog, and we have his human, Sue. And we are so excited that both of you are here today in Sparkles Clubhouse. And Ben, is it a little warm for you today? He's a little bit excited about being here. <laughs> I can tell he looks really happy and, and excited to be here, don't you, buddy? So, welcome back, Finn. Oh, you're such a good dog. So, tell the boys and girls that are watching and all the grown-ups out there, uh, tell us about Finn. Well, Finnegas is a man-trailing bloodhound. That means he finds people. We work for the sheriff's office, but he's not a drug dog. He doesn't do any of the bite work. All he does is find people, and he finds people that want to be found and people that don't want to be found. <laughs> so his main job is criminal searches, but he does find lost people, too. Well, tell us, how old is Finn? Finn is five years old in June. He just turned five. Oh, well, happy birthday, June. That, or, uh, Finn, that's right, Molly and Finn's birthdays are... Just like a day apart. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they're really close. So... Can you hold up Finn's paws so the boy and girl, one of them, so that the boys and girls, you may not want to do that. Nope. That's okay, Finn. Look at that <laughs> paw, boys and girls, where you can see it can, right can, there. Can you see it on the tape? That is a pretty big paw. So what do you yeah. guys, um, what have you been up to the past few days? Oh, well, we've been out doing training trails, which mm -hmm. we do at least twice a week. Mm -hmm. Now that he's an adult and fully trained, we get out at least twice a week. And this time of year, we have to do that in the middle of the night because it's too hot. It gets hot. Does Finn have a cooling vest? Yes, he does. We got tell, the, tell the boys and girls what a cooling vest is. We got him. I didn't bring it in, but it's a vest that I put cold packs in, and that's the only way that he can work in the summer. Is he has to wear his uh, he has to wear his cool packs now because he will work so hard he loves his job so much that he doesn't know when he's getting too hot right right so, so that's my job is to make sure he doesn't so I bet he's caught a lot of bad guys hadn't he he has Finn has now done 82 searches in his lifetime Wow for only so, five years old yeah he started his first actual search he was nine months old. Uh huh. And he went and found an escaped 
convict, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> An escaped prisoner in a different county. Uh huh. And that was his first search. Aw. Now he's a good friend of the fire safety dogs. He's had play dates with Siren and with Molly. He sure has. And he loves coming over to play, don't you, Finn? And um, now share Finn's Facebook page with Finn, everybody. His Facebook page is Finnegas Sage, and everybody is welcome on it. We put pictures of Finn. We talk about his training, and we've got a lot of pictures of Molly and Siren on there when he's yep. come over to play. Yeah. He loves to come over and play with the toys he, with Molly. He, he, uh, they have a lot of fun together. Now, before you go, if you don't mind sharing with the boys and girls, that's okay, sharing with the boys and girls one of, Finn, one of Finn's favorite safety tips. Well, his tip is when you make your fire safety, your escape plan, don't forget your pets. A lot of people forget that they've got to get their pets out too. So if you have dogs and cats or birds or gerbils, Make sure that's part of your safety plan. That's right. You want to have a plan because, boys and girls, if you have a plan, you can be prepared in case there's an emergency, right? That's right. Well, I would like to thank you so much for coming, Sue and Finn, and we have something special for you. This is for Finn. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, He's like, I don't know. Here, Finn. Oh, you're a good dog. He's, his ears are so big. <laughs> his ears are so floppy it won't stay on. <laughs> well, you can, um, there. you can, there we go. I don't know if you can, can, can see you that. See, no, you can't see it on the camera. <laughs> well, we'll take a picture. We'll take a picture. And then we have, this is brand new from First Alert. Look at that smoke alarm. Have you ever oh. seen one that's flat? Have you guys no, ever seen I one that's haven't. flat before? So this is a smoke and fire and carbon monoxide alarm from the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation and from First Alert. So thank you for well, coming. Well, Finn and I appreciate that, and we will put it right up on our wall or thank ceiling you. so we can all be safe, too. Awesome. Well, thank you Safety for coming. First. Safety first. That's right. Thanks, thank Finn. You. Thank you very much we'll for having We'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> he likes the camera. He Bye. doesn't want to go. <laughs> we'll see you later. Thank you so much. All right. Bye, Finn. Thank you, Dana. Thank you. You guys stay safe. All right. Don't you just love Finn? He's an awesome, awesome dog. Another, let's read another piece of mail real quick. This is from Lucette, and it says, Good luck to you on your 100th episode. I know you will be great. Can't wait to meet you, Molly, and Tango on my upcoming visit to the clubhouse in October. Your friend in Canada. So, thank you so much, Lucette. We appreciate you sending us that note. Now, as I mentioned, this show was first live stream April 6th to 2011 and we actually started in my living room and I brought along this was our set back then we had a sheet that was painted and we hung it in my living room and that is where we did our broadcast so here's what we used this was our set see the fire trucks boys fire truck boys and girls so there it is. We wanted to bring that along. Here's a really short clip from that very, very special day. Ah, no sound. Oh, I muted it. That's right. So anyway, there we are. There we are in the living room way back in 2011. So there we go. That was really fun. Now we have live stream Sparkle Safety Spot from eight states and two countries. We had a great time live streaming in Canada last year. It was so much fun. Now here is a message from our friend Chloe Yarbrough. And Chloe is the voice of Molly. So take it away, Chloe. Hi, my name is Chloe Yarbrough and I'm the voice of Molly the Fire Safety Dog. I would like to congratulate Firefighter Dana on her 100th episode of Sparkle Safety Spot. So congratulations, Firefighter Dana. 
I have a safety tip for you today. Here it is. Always crawl low under smoke and have a meeting place in case of fire. So, thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs> thank you, Chloe. We love your safety tip. Get my button straight here. Now, all of the fire safety dogs, with the exception of Sparkles, have live streamed in here or have participated in live streams. Molly has... Tango, and even Firefighter Frank. And speaking of Firefighter Frank, I forgot to mention he is also in the clubhouse. So let me go over and let him in the door. Why if it isn't Firefighter Frank? How are you doing today? Good. Can you wave at the boys and girls? <laughs> we are so glad that you're here, Firefighter Frank. You know, this is a very, very special occasion, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, if you look, boys and girls, right here, this is Firefighter Frank and myself. We were live streaming from Virginia one time, weren't we? Firefighter Frank travels with us, and he gets to participate in fire safety programs and also in our live stream. So, you Oh, he's blowing everybody a kiss. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh, thank you, Firefighter Frank. Well, listen, thanks for coming, and thanks for all you do to help keep kids safe, okay? Okay, oh, you want to wave at the mayor and wave at Dana? There he goes. Okay, well, we'll see you later. Let me let you outside the door, okay, Frank? Okay, here we go. All right, well, it's really, really nice having so many wonderful guests in the clubhouse, isn't it? We just love Firefighter Frank. All right, well, here we are in our room, Jack. Let's go in and check it out. Wow, look at this pretty room with a great view of the mountains in Albuquerque. But let's check out what we do whenever we get into our hotel room. Here's the fire evacuation plan. That's the very first thing we check to make sure just in case there might be an emergency while we're here. Now, let's go find it. Here we are. Here's the exit sign right here. And here's the door to the exit. That's where we would need to go if there would be a fire emergency, Jack. So, now we know where that is, it's time to start our vacation at the Nativo Lodge in Albuquerque. My name is Mike Conley, Fire Chief of the Evansville Fire Department in Evansville, Indiana. And we want to congratulate the Safety Dogs 100th live stream broadcast of Sparkle Safety Spots. I'm here with Evie today, and Evie likes to be outside picking up trash. And that reminds me of a fire safety tip. Don't hide, go outside. If your house is on fire, go outside to the family meeting place. And thank you. That was Fire Chief Mike Conley from the Evansville, Indiana Fire Department. And Evie, the litter dog, thank you so much for joining us and for sending us your video. That is really awesome. Here, really quickly, is a part of a live stream from the Chicago Fire Department that we did in Chicago, Illinois, last October. This is outside one of the stations downtown Chicago. So the back end of this firehouse is where they actually kept the, uh, the horses. Chicago, we told you at the Fire Academy, stop using horses. The last year Chicago used horses was 1923 was the last year. Wow, 1923. Yeah. So tell us just again really quick uh, where we're at again. Okay, we're at the Engine Company 98, Ambulance 11. This is one of the stations. It was built in 1902. A few years after the Chicago Fire, and guess what? There was a guy by the name of Potter that gave money. He gave $10,000. He lived around the corner. He's the guy that, owned, that, owned the, that opened up the Palmer Hotel. And he was scared after the Chicago Fire. He seen that three quarters of the city burned up and he didn't uh, he, he gave 10,000 to have this house built so he could have a firehouse close to his home so thank you so much we had a wonderful time visiting the stations at uh, the Chicago Fire Department stations alright real quick another little excerpt a little bit of mail 
Uh, this came from Anonymous. <laughs> I congratulate you on the 100th program with Sparkles the Fire Safety Dog. I love Dalmatians and your program helps so many children understand the dangers of fire and what to do in case of fire. I also love Molly and Tango and seeing the follow in Sparkles Paw Steps. Oh, that is so nice and thank you so much. Now, this is very, very special to everybody that is watching out there. This is a safety tip, a safety tip from Chef Kevin Sabraga. Now, Chef Kevin was a Top Chef Season 7 winner and Molly and I got to meet him and he made this fire safety tip. So we'd like to share this with you today. Hi, I'm Kevin Sprague, winner of Top Chef. And today, Molly and I are gonna share a tip. First one for adults, controlling the fire in your kitchen. When you're cooking with oil, don't ever let it get too hot. Very, very, very dangerous. Second one for kids, be careful with your toasters. Kids love to stick things, play with things, stick their fingers in toasters. Very, very dangerous. So uh, Molly and I are here, and that's our tips for today. Thank you so much, Jeff. You're welcome. Isn't that awesome? Thank you so much, Chef, for your wonderful, wonderful safety tip. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we have a special guest with us today. We have the mayor of Clarksville, Billy Helm. So, Billy, if I can get you to come on up here, please. Yay! <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, Mayor. Well, thank you, Dana. So, what do you think about our program so far? Uh, you know... I don't know how to describe this. This is awesome. I never, it's a, beyond my wildest imagination, Dana. Really? I am so proud of you. Aw, thank you, know, you. This is just, uh, it, it, it's amazing. From the from the outside to the inside, you know, as we as we came up on Sparkle's uh, Clubhouse, Yes. I thought, man, you know, I would like to live in Sparkle's Clubhouse. <laughs> And, uh, and I talked to your husband, and he said, you know, all I need would be a bathroom, and I could live out there. <laughs> Dana, this is something that, uh, you know, all kids need to see this. This is just, it's amazing. It's very informative. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's entertaining, and it's, uh, it's, it's very factual, you know. You need to pay attention to, to these things. And, yeah, and you need to be more aware of, of this, you know. And that's right. Fire safety is really important, isn't it? Well, absolutely. You know, and it doesn't, there's no age limit on fire safety. You know, you need to start as, as a, just past the infant stage and on past my age, you know. If you play with matches, if you play with cigarette lighters, or if you, you know, if you get careless in the kitchen, uh, you know, it can mean people's lives. But once again, Dana, I, I I, I am stunned. I bet you had no idea this was going on in Clarksville, did you? I, I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> uh, you know, and I bet you uh, probably 90% of Clarksville don't, is not aware of this. But it's not only Clarksville that needs to be aware of this. This, this is something that needs to be everybody everywhere. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, uh, I think you're doing a great job. Well, thank you. Uh, thank it's you. Just, uh, it's just super, you know. And, Gosh, I, I need a dictionary to think some words to describe it. <laughs> well, well, if you don't mind, share with the boys and girls your favorite fire safety tip. Well, you know, I'd have to say it's uh, probably don't play with matches. That's right. Don't pick up mom and dad cigarette lighter and, you know, get to playing with that. Uh, it's just too easy to, to, to spark and to make a, 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 a blaze or a flame, you know. And uh, it could result in, you know, in, in people dying or in, in deaths. It's just, uh, I, you know, I don't know. We get up every morning, Dana, and we take things for granted, you know. And, and a show like this, I think, is very enlightening. It's very entertaining. Thank you. It's, uh, it's just, it's, it's something that every kid and, you know, it's, and I think the parents would enjoy it, too. Well, thank you. I know you. I, I really have. I, I had no imagine, you know, I couldn't 
think about what all you're doing and, and the good work that you're doing. Uh, it's just, uh, uh, in Sparkle's guest book, I put, uh, what a clubhouse. You know? <laughs> and I think, I'll, I think I'll apply for membership. <laughs> Well, but, uh, thank you so you much. Know, I know. really appreciate that, Mayor. Do you know we have had over 70,000 people watch this show from all over the world since it started? Since it started. Well, you know, I'm sure that they're probably still watching today. And I, I'm sure that you've had some help doing a lot of this stuff. Uh, I imagine Robert has been a big He has been big, a big help, and big so have the fire safety dogs. Yeah. And we have a lot of friends that have helped make this a reality, too. People that volunteer their time to come over and paint. So it's been a big, it's been a big um, co co collaboration, so. Well, you know, I remember maybe a couple years ago when you had, I think, three dogs. Uh-huh. You know, and I thought, man, Dana just killing time. <laughs> Gosh, I, you know, how wrong I was. Aww. And, uh, you know, once again, I'd like to say, uh, Dana, you're just doing a great job. Well, thank it's, you, uh, Billy. It's just something that, uh, that the city of Clarksville would, would be very proud of if, you know, if the people do it. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you. And speaking of your tip, boys and girls, remember Mayor Helm said if you see matches or lighters, what you want to do is you want to make sure you tell a grown-up you don't ever, ever want to touch matches or lighters. Right, Mayor? That's right. That's, That's right. right. You want That's to tell right. a grown-up. So we're going to let you go back over here and sit and enjoy the show. And thank right. you so much. Well, we have you. for you one of these super-duper maximum protection Smoke, fire, and carbon monoxide alarm. These are brand new for First Alert, and they're like a they're a designer series. Series, so uh, that'll help keep you and your family safe. And Dana, you know, also this is something that, uh, that all residents should have in their house. That's right. Uh, you know, probably three or four of them around. So that's right. You should have actually one outside each of your sleeping areas and one on each level of your home. So thank you so much, well, Mayor. Well, thank you, Dana. Sure do appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, we had the actual mayor here in Clarksville. So thank you so much for coming, Mayor. Now it is time for Tango, the fire safety dog, to come up and say hi to everybody. Come on, Tango. Hey, buddy. Now, Tango retired in October of 2012, and he's here to say hi to everybody. Here, Tango. There we go. It has been a while since he's been in the clubhouse. Oh, he smells thin. <laughs> so, Tango. Here. Here, buddy. Tango has live-streamed probably 40 of the 100 episodes, maybe 50. Tango. Come here. Let's say hi to everybody. There we go. Tango is going to be 12 years old this year, and he has been a wonderful co-host of our program. And so, Tango, I just want to thank, thank you so much for all your help and for all you've done to help keep kids safe. Mwah. I love you. Okay. Here you go, Dad. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks, Tango. Bye. He's like, wait, I want to stay. Here's a message from our friend Barbara Tickle and Joey, the walk and roll dog. You might want to let, hey, Robert, yes. you might want to let Molly run off some of her excess energy before she comes in. All right, here we go. Whoops. Let me get this fixed here real quick. There we go. Okay, this is from Barbara Teckel and Joey, a walk and roll dog. Here we go. Take it away, guys. Hi there. Hi there. I'm author and animal advocate Barbara Teckel of JoyfulPaws.com. And this is my special friend Joey, who's a walk and roll dog. We'd like to say congratulations to Sparkle Safety Spot and their 100th episode. Joey loves to encourage others, even when they have a challenge, to be positive, which reminds us of a fire safety tip we have for you. If you have someone in your household who has special needs just like little Joey does here, make sure you have a special plan in place to help them get out of the house in the case of a fire. Talk about that plan and then practice it a few times each year. 
Thank you, Barbara and Joey. We love your safety tip. Thank you so much. Really quickly, here's a little bit of a live stream when we live stream the, from the Aurora Regional Fire Museum in Aurora, Illinois. We love to have firefighters help us during our live stream. So there's the firefighter from the Aurora Fire Department showing how to dress out and how to be safe. We had a great time that night, and that was the first time we had a live audience during our live stream. It was a lot of fun. Here's a safety tip from Lieutenant Beverly Walker from Hall County Fire Services in Gainesville, Georgia. Hey everybody, it's Firefighter Beverly from Hall County Fire Services in Gainesville, Georgia. Boy, those fire safety dogs sure have been busy because this is their 100th episode of Sparkle Safety Spot. We're real proud for them and we appreciate so much the job that Firefighter Dana and the fire safety dogs do in getting out safety messages to boys and girls just like you. Speaking of safety messages, I have one I would like to share with you and that concerns using matches and lighters. Lighters, this is a great big lighter, lighters are things that moms and dads and other grown-ups use to start good fires like fires in the fireplace or the barbecue grill or even to light the candles on your birthday cake. But when boys and girls try to use them, that is when bad things can happen. They can cause a fire that can burn down their whole house and even hurt themselves. And we don't like it when that happens. So if boys and girls see matches and lighters laying out, they need to let a grown up know, a mom or dad or another grown up in the house, so that they can be put up where they belong. Lighters come in all different shapes and sizes. There's big ones, there's little ones, and there's even a lighter that looks like a match. But it's still a lighter and they all do the same thing. They all help grown-ups start the good fires. But when boys and girls try to use them, that's when something bad might happen. So if you see matches or lighters laying out or you find them somewhere, don't even touch them. You tell a grown-up so they can put them up where they belong. Thanks, Firefighter Dana, for letting us join you today in the fire safety dogs and keeping children fire safe. Thank you, Beverly. Thank you so much, and thank you to Hall County Fire Services. We had a great time live streaming last year, and we are just, we just love you, Beverly. Thank you so much. Now, we have one more special guest that we would like to introduce, and they need to get back to work because Mayor Helms has to run a city. <laughs> so let's go ahead and call up Councilwoman Dana Schneider. If you can come on up, Dana. Hi. Hello. Dana. And welcome to Thank Sparkle you. Safety Spot and the Thank Clubhouse. You for this is wonderful. As, as Mayor Helms said, this is just an amazing thing that you've put together here, and congratulations on your 100th episode. Thank That's, you so much. That is so exciting. Thank you so much. We appreciate it very, very much. Now, if you don't mind, we would love to hear what your favorite fire safety tip is. Okay. Well, my favorite fire safety tip is make sure you know how to get out of your house. But you may not always be at your home if something bad happens, if a fire starts someplace. You may be at a friend's house. You may be in a public building. So wherever you go, make sure that you know where the fire exits are and, and your family knows how to get to those fire exits as well. So scope out every place that you go and make sure that you know how to safely get out of that building if something bad happens. And that is a really, really good tip because, parents, I can share with you that a lot of times people will go into, like, let's say a restaurant, and they know where the, they think they might know where the exit is. Generally, what will happen if the, if the smoke alarm goes off or the alarm there, they will go to where the door they came in, and they don't realize that there are other exits in the building. So... I don't know if you're like me, but if I go sit in a restaurant, I look around and I see where all the exits are. So if an emergency does happen, I know how to get out. And even I was down at Walmart, um, our Walmart here in Clarksville, and they have big, uh, big, uh, huge exit doors towards the back of the store around the cosmetic department. And I was in there looking and I didn't realize those doors were there. And I bet a lot of people don't realize they're there. I bet they don't. So when you're shopping or eating or even if, um, let's say you have small children and they go to grandma's house or grandpa's house or a friend's house, you want to make sure 
that they have a smoke alarm and that they know their plan. So that is an excellent, excellent fire safety tip and we appreciate it. And we have something special for you too. Oh, thank you. This is also a smoke alarm from First Alert. So you can put this up at your business down at Master Printing if you want, or you can put it um, at home, whatever you want to do. But it's really sleek and thank you. And, very um, much, it'll help keep you and and tell tell the boys and girls the name of your cats that you have at home and your dog. <laughs> okay, I have two cats at my house. I have Kiki Cat. And then I have Squirty Cat, mm -hmm. and then I have Captain Jack, who's the, I call him the beast in the backyard, but he's my guard <laughs> dog that, uh, that keeps my backyard safe. And also, I'll have to say that Jack doesn't like when my neighbors burn trash in their backyard, and he barks and lets me know that something is not right, and uh, he does not like to see smoke. So he's a, he's a good dog that way. Wow, we may have to make Jack an honorary fire safety dog. <laughs> he would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> well, listen, thank you so much. We're going to carry on with our show, and you guys can head back to, uh, to City Hall and head back to your work. But I want to thank you again for coming. On, that, uh, on my desk over there are some 100 glasses. If you, can, if you guys can each pick one out. We will do that. That would be awesome on your way out. Did you sign the guest book? I did not, but I if will. If you can do that before you go. And thank you again so much for coming. Thank you, Dana, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I can actually just bring that down to you at the, at the store. That would be great. Okay. Be great. Thank, thank, thank you, Mayor. You. Appreciate you, you coming. We're going to carry on. This way you won't have to get in on the singing. You got, oh, I'm going to do that a little afterwards. Oh. Uh, but you know what? You're lucky you didn't have to hear me sing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Wow, boys and girls, aren't we having some fun today? Lots and lots of special guests. Bye. Bye, -bye. Stay safe. This was a live stream, boys and girls, that we did at the Memphis Fire Department in November of 2011. We had an amazing time then. Station unique. Well, we were unique right inside all one of their stations, the day, and the if, if fire trucks this, were the background. That's the Jeff Huddleston. Jeff helped us live stream. It. And it's just uh, very unusual station. Tango helped us with that. We had a lot of fun. Several years ago, someone was telling me that it was like the fishbowl. You know, you're in here and there's no way to hide from everybody. They could, they could... So we love doing Sparkle Safety Spot on location. Now it is time. Let me use my radio to get Molly in here. Robert, can you bring in Molly, please? Molly is on her way to the clubhouse. Now, Molly has helped us live stream since episode 64, I believe. So, she has done a lot of spark episodes of Sparkle's Safety Spot. She's a really, really good girl. Now, Molly is over a year now, and she really, really enjoys being in the clubhouse with Tango and Siren and hanging out. So, she should be here in just a moment. So we're going to go ahead and carry on. Now, this is our good friend, Sophia Loren. Now, Sophia is a wonderful, wonderful little special dog. She actually models, and she walked the runway during Fashion Week in New York City, boys and girls. Can you see her dress that she has on there and her hat? Sophia is a, the cutest dog ever and a really good friend of Molly's. And we appreciate her sitting in this fire safety tip. So here we go. I'm Sophia Loren, the little dog in the big city. And I'm happy to team up with Molly, the fire safety dog, to share a couple of fire safety tips with you to help you and your pet get out of a fire safely. Safety for your pets is important, even when you're not at home. Firefighters suggest that you use pet rescue stickers. They are available from several sources. The stickers are used to alert firefighters that there are pets in the home. It's recommended that pet owners affix the sticker on the front door or the window closest 
closest to the front door. Changing the sticker annually is a must. When the stickers look faded or old, firefighters do not always assume that they're recent. Updating your pet rescue sticker is a key. Think about having current photos of your pet stored somewhere in case your pet runs out in the midst of chaos. A good tip is to have an updated photo of your pet stored in your cell phone so it's ready right away. Remember, preparedness is the key to keeping all members of your family safe and sound, even the fuzzy ones like me and Molly. Follow Sophia Lorenz Adventures at littledoginthebigcity.com. Sophia, thank you so much to you and your mom. We loved your tip. It was really awesome. And you're just the cutest thing. And thank you so much for getting our, your tip to us. We loved it. All right, let me find my clicker. Here it is. All right, let's go ahead and introduce Molly. Molly, would you like to go ahead and come on up? Just let her off her leash, hon. Here we go. Hi, Molly. Up. Molly. She smells Finn, too, and Tango. Here, Molly. Up. Good girl. Here we go. Molly. Molly. Up. Oh, lots to smell. Here, Molly. Come on. Up. Good girl. Here, let me help you up. Here we go. Okay. Sit. All right. So this is Molly. And as I said, she is a little over a year old and she loves being in Sparkles Clubhouse. And Molly, we're really glad that you could be with us today. Can you wave at the boys and girls? Can you wave? Oh, that's really nice. Thank you. Thank you, Molly, for coming to see us. Okay, here's some more mail. We love reading mail. And I tell you what, I think I'm going to see if I could get Molly to take this out of the mailbox. Let's see if we can do it, boys and girls. Molly, can you open up the mailbox? Here. Whoops. She's used to me standing over here. Molly, up. Okay, good girl. Here. Open the mailbox. Get it. Molly. Here. Grab it. Open it. Here. Molly. Molly, here. Okay, grab it. Here, let's get it. Oh, Molly. Okay, I'll open it for you. Here, get the mail. Get the mail. Here. Here he is, Molly. Molly, get the mail. Here. There we go. Get it. Get it. Molly, get the mail. Get it. There we go. Good girl, Molly. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to read another piece of mail. This is from Felicia. She says, congratulations to all on your 100th episode. What a special milestone. I have been a Facebook friend for a little over a year, just prior to Molly joining the family. The work you do is terrific. I can't imagine there's anything better than to capture the attention of children and teach them such important lessons. I am constantly amazed with each new trick Molly shows off. Wishing you continued success. Thank you so much, Felicia. And I tell you what, speaking of Felicia, Felicia sent us, or sent Molly, I should say, some little firefighter rubber duckies. A whole bunch of them, boys and girls. So now we can share some fire safety tips with Molly's new rubber duckies. So thank you so much, Felicia. We love it. And you know what we're going to do? is we're going to have Molly, let me see this, Molly. We're going to have Molly ring the bell for you. Molly, up. Can you ring the bell? Ring the bell. Ring it. Get it. Ring it. <laughs> Here we go. Ring the bell. Here. Get it. Here we go. It's been a while since she's rung the bell. Here we go. Get it. Ring it. There we go. Good job, Molly. <laughs> There we go. So thank you so much, Felicia. Let's uh, let's carry on and see where we're at here. Now, boys and girls, this is also very, very special. This is a safety tip from Christy Cowell. And Christy is a U.S. Olympian. She won a silver medal in, in swimming. So we want to share this very, very special safety tip 
from Christy. Here we go. Hi, my name is Christy Cole. I was a 2000 Olympic swimmer and silver medalist. I would like to share my favorite safety tip with Molly. And my favorite safety tip is making sure that everyone has up-to-date batteries in their smoke alarm. Thank you so much, Christy. We had a wonderful time getting to meet you in New York City. And thank you for your wonderful fire safety tip. Molly says hi. <laughs> now this is a picture of Duchess. This is actually a picture of Opal. Now Opal is Molly's sister. And we have a special video from Duchess, Opal, Amber, Jennifer, and Victoria. So take it away, guys. Happy 100th episode to Molly and Dana from Duchess and Opal and Amber and Jennifer and Victoria. Thank you so much for sending us this video. We love it. And Molly says hi to everybody. Molly, can you wave? Good girl. That is a good dog. So thank you for making that video and sending it in to us. We really do appreciate it. Now our last video that we have is very, very, very special. Why is it special, you may ask? Well, it is because it came all the way from England. And we are so excited that Lee Asperry from the County Durham and Darlington Fire Rescue Service and Scrappy the Fire Dog sent us a favorite, their favorite fire safety tip. But before we do that, here, Molly. We have got to hold up the flag. Okay, Molly. Sit. There we go. So there we are. Molly holding the flag. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go ahead and start their wonderful safety tip. Are you ready, Molly? All the way from England. Hi Molly, hi Dana and everyone at Spark and Safety Spot. I'm Lee Asprey, I'm the Fire Investigation Manager at County Durham and Darlington Fire and Rescue Service. That's in England, in uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, this is my search dog, his name's Scrappy. You see he's got his ball, he's ready to play, and he's wearing his boots, which means he's going to do some work straight after that. Remember, never play with fire. Never a uh, clever thing to do, always dangerous. Have a good time and enjoy your 100th episode. Bye! Thank you so much, Lee, and thank you so much, Scrappy. We love your fire safety tip. You guys rock. Here, let's wave because I know they're watching Molly. Can you wave at Scrappy and Lee? <laughs> Hi, all the way over in England. Thank you so much. All right, we have one more piece of mail to share. Here we go. Oh, we have two. One, this is from Marie Grandy. She says, congrats on your live streaming. Awesome, you can do this. Molly, you are tops. How about that, Molly? You're tops. And Kelly Church says, Congratulations on your 100th episode. Dino the Dalmatian and I follow you on Facebook, and we beam with pride for all the work you do to keep everyone safe. Molly and all the fire safety dogs are awesome. Keep up the good work. We love you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. Now, we have something really special, and we know you are watching today, Kathy. This is our good friend, Kathy, from New York City. Hi, Kathy. Molly, can you wave at Kathy? Kathy, we want to thank you so much for watching almost 60 episodes of Sparkle Safety Spot. We are dedicating this program to you today. Thank you so much for all that you do. I know you've stayed up late to watch on New Year's Eve. You stayed up till 3 o'clock to watch the Fire Safety Dogs some years. And we just want to tell you thank you and we dedicate this show to you. Thank you. Mwah. Now it's time before we go for the Get Out song, because we love to sing, don't we, Molly? So, here we go. Let me get it started. 
Molly, are you ready? You know that sound? That means it's time to sing the Get Out song. One, whoa. One, two, one, two, three. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Remember, boys and girls, if you see or smell smoke or if the smoke alarm gets off, goes off, you want to get down, crawl out, and go to your outside meeting place. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Come here, Molly. Molly. Come here, Molly. If there's a fire in your house, here, girl. then your smoke alarm will shout. If there's a fire in your house, get out, stay out. Good job. Good job. Thank you so much. Here, Molly. Molly, up. Let's see, I think I might have run out of treats. Here, Molly, up. There we go. So good job singing the Get Out song, boys and girls. Okay, let's see what we have next. If you'd like to send mail to the Fire Safety Dogs, Send it to the Fire Safety Dogs, Post Office Box 1029, Clarksville, Arkansas, 72830. Again, that's the Fire Safety Dogs, Post Office Box 1029, Clarksville, Arkansas, 72830. They would love getting mail from you. You can join the Fire Safety Dogs on their Facebook page. You can go to facebook.com forward slash fire safety dogs. Also, you can join Molly's fire safe or Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Molly the fire safety dog. There we go. She would love to be your friend. She has almost 500 friends and she's very excited about that. Also, you can visit our blog at firesafetyrocks.com. You can see all the latest pictures of the fire safety dogs and follow their adventures. Now it's time to do the junior firefighter oath, everybody. Let's raise your hand, right hand, and repeat after me. I promise to practice fire safety every day. Congratulations, you're all junior firefighters. Is that all the treats we have? Okay, here, come on up, Molly. There we go. Good job, Molly. So, this has been the 100th episode of Sparkle Safety Spot. We hope that you had a really good time. We did, didn't we, Molly? So, here we are. Here is two our 100th episode. You ready, Molly? Here we go. Whee! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. We had a great time today. A special thank you to our good friends at First Alert. Thank you for all you do to help uh, support our program and to help us keep children and their caregivers so safe. We appreciate you so much and none of this would have been possible without you. Thank you so much. This program has also been brought to you by the Keep Kids.
Sparkles Clubhouse. This is Dana Hilton along with Molly the Fire Safety Dog saying stay safe and remember fire safety rocks. Goodbye everybody. Molly can you wave at everybody? Say goodbye. Goodbye. Good girl. Bye everybody.